disgusting, shitty mood. Why are you in such a shitty mood? Because you woke up and you have done nothing. You are still in bed in watching television in the morning when it's clean, kitchen to be clean and everything to be done. Right. Yeah. So last so night, I was he was cleaning. up until stupid o'clock. He smoked so many cigarettes. He was coughing stupid. We were supposed to be getting up as every day, 9.30 to go to the gym. And I woke him up to go to the gym at 9.40. That's why he's upset. Because he decided to stay awake and smoke all the cigarettes. And then now he said, I should have just cleaned. Shouldn't I? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. No. You're in bed, I'm going to chill out. And then I'll clean later. He's so annoying. When he's in a bad mood, everybody's in a bad mood. It's disgusting. I hate it. I don't think I've ever known somebody who can wake up in such a foul mood. And he twists like that. So he's like in a bad mood. And then two minutes later, he's all right. He's like saying, should we be friends now? I'm like, all right, but... You know, you know, slowly, slowly, every day we're doing a little bit, and I'll be honest with you, I am actually, oh no, I don't want to do that shit. Just try it. I don't. <laughs> if you're gonna fucking abuse me on the videos, then stop doing don't. that. Don't! Are you listening to Not me? Not on the phone. <laughs> maybe, look, maybe look at your face. Seriously, I will stop. Why are you so wet and Because I've got it in my eyes, so I've got some Why water on my face. Sperm? It does look like it, doesn't it? Well, from what I remember, don't you got it all over your face? Do you want me to help? No, 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 no. <laughs> what, Daniel? This is our first candle gift. Do you think it looks quite cute now? Very gay, John. I don't, I don't know what it smells of. It smells of farts. It might do. Yeah, I brought essentials. What, eggs? Eggs and tobacco. Eggs and tobacco. <laughs> Here, baby, take it. Help me. Okay, thank you. Which one you want? Any. What's this dressing? So the dressing is a light mayonnaise, but it's seasoned with pepper, and garlic paste, and um, lemon and olive oil to make the dressing. And then I did a rocket salad. I use this. Have you seen those giant? Um... What? Mula. Mula, mula. Hey, baby. Oh, come on. <laughs> I just realized that I admit I have misplaced my Apple Watch. And I don't know where it is. And I usually, I never misplace stuff, especially expensive stuff. So now he's bugging me that I can't find it. <laughs> you have to throw <laughs> Well, it's such a nice day to be outside. And I'm with Tracy, but I have to stay two meters away from Tracy so we don't spread the coronavirus. <laughs> oh, this is, it's happening again. Oh, see? Very good. Jack, 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 come inside. Jack. Oh Literally everybody is on the street clapping. It's only been three days, admittedly. <laughs> Since we stopped eating crap, we started exercising, but I'm still fat. I mean, nothing's changing at all. Uh, and it's a lot better to go to the gym because we can burn off more calories, but we've got to keep it up, Daniel. We've got I to keep it up. Already. Thank you, John. No, he doesn't look much better. yourself. He doesn't look much better already. He's you still fat. Your I'm, st I'm bloated as well, that's why. I'm gonna go to bed. Are you gonna come to bed with me tonight, Daniel? Of course, like oh, every night. Never does, never does. Good night. A lot of us are in the same position financially and like a lot of people, I use my credit cards, but I can't anymore. So I called up my cousin Dawn and she gave me some great advice of what to do. And she said that Sainsbury's are offering some great deals on balance transfers. So I'm gonna get my credit cards and do balance transfers all to this Sainsbury's credit card, credit card in a few days. 
and that should help me out because I know that the banks are offering like um, like saying you can freeze your accounts and things like that but you're still gonna have to pay it back so I'm quite looking forward to doing the balance transfer and getting my accounts under control because Daniel and I have to tighten our belts a lot <laughs> the fourth day now and it's still tired you stop it John I didn't get you I have no energy yeah but, but we're getting we, better we are gonna keep going I'm losing more weight though John is just the same Daniel not the dog ball in there trying to play stupid buggers well, you're gonna have to get in we don't have another ball for the dogs think about, think about if I climb in how gonna turn climb out I don't know these are not well, we're going to have to leave the ball then. We're going to come to a mouth. Well, you're going to be stuck in there, aren't you? Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to be able to... Well, don't, don't do it then. Come back out. We just have to find another football somewhere. Huh? We'll have to find another football. Come on, come out. Do you want a hand? Careful. two gifts to go out and then I'm just going to cut this soap. Do you, do you want to give the soap to Lorraine? Yeah. Is it Lorraine? Mmm. Yeah. Oh my god that smells so nice. Right so I just need to cut this into equal parts. I, I never usually have a shower but I'm actually thinking now Daniel's gone over to deliver that stuff and I think what I'm going to do while he's gone I'm gonna shave Belle, but I'm a little bit nervous because she's so thin that her, you can feel her spine. But she's just getting so hot and at night she's panting, so I'm gonna give it a go after I clean the kitchen. than I thought because the bath thing she's got such long hair and I don't have the right stuff and I dried her okay but unfortunately the, the hair dryer got full of fluff so it stopped working so I'm gonna leave her for five minutes and then for her to kind of dry up a bit more and then I'm gonna start cutting her that was so easy I would recommend it to anybody if they've got a dog with about 10 tons of fur just get some clippers and spend five hours cutting them because it's so easy horrible shut up <laughs> it's really really difficult I must have, I mean I don't even know what I'm doing and I think if fur's like mattered a lot I mean I, I shampooed her conditioned her I brushed her through and it's like but it's done now anyway and she looks a mess but at least she's got less fur. You know, that's the first time in such a long time that these two pigeons have been together and I've never seen one of them eat. So obviously I know I'm doing a good thing here. I'm just outside Lorraine's door and I put the camera there. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh my God, this bike is losing all the oil. I just checked now, it's dripping everywhere. What a disaster. 
and the queue for the post office. There you go. You can't do anything anymore without queuing. Well, we try not to eat um, um, normal bread or gluten. So I I got some um, flour from the Arabic shops, uh, ground flours or chickpea, ground chickpeas, and I'm gonna make a, a French style bread, which is gonna come topped with mozzarella, tomatoes, parma ham, olives, and some rocket. It's gonna be nice. This was the best bruschetta I ever eat in my life. I tell you, this bread is fantastic. It tastes delicious. I had a busy day. My motorbike is destroyed because the oil is leaking. John is in bed and now I'm hearing voices and the voices are coming from this little machine here. Look at that. He is in another room talking to me through Alexa and I did not even know where the voices is coming from. I said, he's like, oh my God, John talks so much that he's in my head. <laughs> All right. No, I don't miss you. Anyway, good night. Last night I was laying in bed and I heard this little... <coughs> and I thought, oh my God, what's that? And it was Belle. And I panicked. So I put my hand on her mouth and around her throat and that. And I found these two lumps just there. And I thought, oh my God. Because I didn't notice them before because she was so hairy. So I tried to did some home diagnosis myself. It's no look. And my amazing friend Gordon, who I spoke to this morning, who's a vet, he said that um, I've got to do a bit of more diagnosis um, myself just to make sure. But at the moment, I think he, well, we think it might be the lymph, lymph glands because they're swollen in the back legs and in the neck as well. So um, hopefully we can diagnose this correctly and then start on some medication. But she looks so bad at the moment. Um, and she's lost so much weight. She, oh, she looks a right mess. I think I'm better at ping pong than I am at football, I'll tell you that much. Don't do anything to me. You are shit at the ball. I'm not, I was really good. <laughs> Thanks for leaving some for me. My second attempt to make uh, chickpea bread and this one smells incredible but I need to try it to know exactly how it tastes like. Well, I did put onions and olives, paprika and all the herbs and I think it's gonna taste delicious. Oh my god Daniel! I could not close and move! Oh, come on! It, no like... way! You're just doing that. What? You're just having a shit like on camera. I'm having a shit. You're like, Ugh. I'm not having a shit. I'm having a wait. He's covering up his head because he said, pass me my hat. And the thing is, I don't care. I mean, now Albania's getting small and he's getting me in the bathroom, which is really not on. I don't particularly want people to see me naked because I'm always wearing my clothes. I never wear my clothes, but I am wearing shorts, look. And Daniel's wearing no hair. What are you getting it on about? Oh, shut up. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. <laughs> what a mess. You know, when I cook, I kind of clean up after myself, put things by the sink to wash, or I kind of make everything, everything in the bin. And this one, it looks like it's just vomited Tesco's all over the side. Yeah, but right I mess. make nice food. I make nice food, Danny, but you don't have to, like, let the kitchen up like this. And I clean up for myself. Yeah, you do like to be. And not to me. So, I'm here today, I'm making chickpea bread, which I'm, um, see, this is coming, like, it's coming up. I put some, um, just water and chickpea flour and some yeast, all right? And here, I've done a mixture of um, leeks, onions, and uh, garlic, and sun-dried tomatoes. And this is some 
piece of sausage, you're gonna add them in there, and then I'm gonna add them in a bread, and I'm gonna bake it. Look at this bread. I've been making cheapy bread every day now, and every day it's just coming better and better and better. It needs to be put in the tin, and it does, but it's the same one. The onions are really, really strong. I said maybe next time you could do it and do it with them sun dried tomato, olive, and thyme, which would be nice. So you've got two different You need to get tins, otherwise, they're going to dry out. John will do that. No, we have no tins. We need to find some. I can't complain anymore that I don't treat him well. Look at this. This is like dinner for kings, not queens, they eat. What do you think? really good thank you so much you did such a nice job and the bread as well it was so good thank you so much thank you is not enough what are you gonna do for me give you some sweet sweet living <laughs> well i've had a bit of bad news um i had a message back from gordon Bevere and he thinks that it's lymphoma a multicentric lymphoma which just basically means cancer of the lymph glands of Bell, but um, I don't know how much the treatment is. And all the vets, what I've looked at so far, well, they're closed today, but they'll close on Friday as well. So tomorrow I'm going to phone around and see what I can possibly do because she's my baby. And even if I can extend her life for, well, because it says up to two years with chemotherapy for this, from this particular drug, which you can get. I'll do it, of course I'm gonna do it, I don't care how much it costs. Once I'm done with this lockdown, I won't step a foot in this kitchen again because I'm getting tired of just being here. <laughs> By the way, if you add a bit of this to your um, yogurt or milk, it will help with the coronavirus. <laughs> That's what the president said. As soon as I got up this morning and my grandma was working, I called the vets. And even though it says, excuse me, it was closed, they said that they can do telephone appointments, which is brilliant. So I did loads of photos of Belle and she's in such a state. And I took pictures of the possible lymphoma, which is around her neck. And I drew pictures of like where the bumps and lumps were and sent them all through with a little video as well. So they're gonna give me a telephone appointment tomorrow at 9.45, which should be amazing because if I don't, if it doesn't start getting treated now, I could lose her within two months. So I'm just so pleased. Look how skinny she is. So bad, I had no idea. I couldn't feel it and the fur, the fur was so thick and heavy and covered. So anyway, look, this is all good stuff anyway. So I'm more positive now and I feel better that the email's gone, all the information's in there and they'll give me a call tomorrow morning. We've just been cleaning the shed, looking for a um, computer bracket. A big, uh, yeah, which we cannot find. We've got loads of stuff. So when we're, uh, I don't know if we're gonna use it. When we go back upstairs, we'll show you, it is crap. So for the balcony, I found this. And this is an old light. It's one of those strip lights from a club. I cannot remember how we got it. Can well, we I try and, can, I, can we try and see if this well, works? What my gay nights? Sorry? Oh, did we use it then when you did your gay nights? Yeah. So we have that, but also, this is what Daniel found. And he, he wanted the hinges because we had to buy some for the kitchen and our kitchen hinges are crap. But you know what? I thought, after all the messing about with that shelving, what I had, that I might be able to repurpose this as some, well, semi-temporary shelving. I see I'm like pausing there because I don't know if I can actually use it. So they'll be quite good. And then in this bag, I'm gonna bring this back upstairs cleaning. So this is the last model which I ever made. And I know it looks crap and I wasn't very good then, but I don't know, it's kind of like a remnant of my past. And that was, I, I think that was the best one I did. And it was years ago and I know it's crap, but I liked it. And then we have in here, this is important now, 
Ooh. Right. So these are the parts of a. Do you know what it is? Once I clean it, because it's filthy. This is a juicing machine. And the best thing you can use this for when you're juicing are carrots. Carrots are reason well, they're actually very low in sugar, but it makes an amazing juice. And if you're thirsty and you want something which is a little bit tastier, um, you can do carrots. We used to do carrot in beetroot, which is actually my favorite. And then we have some <laughs> leather jeans, baby. Trousers. Well, jeans, leather trousers. So I got those because I want to do a BDSM night with Daniel. I'm going to get him to put those on. I'm going to beat the crap out of him. And then, because Jack keeps eating the teddies, and this one went downstairs, and I like silver teddies for the bedroom. And this is my te This is your teddy. I'm going to sew him back up and put him in the bedroom so we've got a nice teddy. So that we've had this stuff for ages. Bits of the juicer. I got some silicone sealant to do the fish tank because the fish tank started leaking. And I've ordered loads of plants, so this is my silicone sealant seal for that. And the rest is crap. Those are all Daniel's clothes. What he needs to sort out, Daniel. You hear me? I'm pissing. Daniel's just a dickhead. He just literally blew the whole house. All the electrics and that wire with the light I was just trying to fix it because it wasn't working properly and then Daniel let, went like that I went, so he went oh <coughs> and then it went <coughs> anyway so let's see what's working now nothing, nothing works I was gonna use it outside and it's completely dead it literally went bang things, things happen yeah, but why do you always happen to them? Because I don't want it in the house. It, it would have been perfect, Daniel. It was half working anyway. Oh, he's so rough sometimes. I don't think he thinks. But he just bends the contacts onto each other so it explodes. Cry, cry, cry. More, more, more. I want to try and do this. I don't know if it's going to work. But I'm going to have to join these two pieces together. So I'm going to cut down the straight edge. And then when I... Um, and I've got like one of those saws. I don't know, I'm just gonna try it. You know what I mean? I'm certainly not an expert at everything. <laughs> Most things. That duct tape which I bought with Daniel in that DIY shop is actually worked out to be amazing. It's so strong. It's, it's called, called fro frog tape. If this is not frog tape. It's not frog making it's this stuff up. It's called T-Rex, you tape. can see there. It, it, it makes things up. We bought frog tape as well, but that's like for um, doing Something completely different. Frog day. Frog you! <laughs> what we can do? Ah! I have no idea. Actually, what do you think? It does look good. It does, doesn't it? No, it does. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm actually really pleased the way this has turned out. I mean, there's no imperfections on it whatsoever. It is really good. It's really solid. The only thing is, maybe I need some supports at the end, like here. But we did, you know what I mean? But it's, it's I mean, it's more, it's stronger than we actually need. But it kind of like, I don't know. But I really love it. I have to say, I really love it. And it's more spacious and it hasn't got those imperfections which Daniel created on the last one. Yet a lot more spacious, a lot more clean lined. I'm just gonna check how the pigeon chicks are doing now. I'm just gonna change their food because they're finished. Hello. I I might look like a, like a bloody junkie going through the bin. People don't know that they are my own rubbish. Seriously, John. Well, we nearly lost the rubbish bin because John threw it in the bin. Okay, so I think it's complete. Yeah. 
<laughs> as always, I, I saw these tiles and they are thrown away. And we're gonna use them to um, to create a nice wall in the balcony with these tiles. Yeah, but they're all different sizes. Yeah, but we're gonna make We've it got quite a lot. We're gonna no, it's, make... we're gonna, it's gonna be like a mosaic. I mean, I hope it works out right, otherwise... We're gonna throw them away. Well, why not give it a try? Okay. Oh, it's really raining. Oh, and I haven't really woken up yet. Oh, but I'm gonna get myself prepared for that telephone call. I'm so, oh. You know when you get those headaches, right, just there? And it feels like, um, it feels like one of those dehydrated headaches. Maybe because I'm drinking like shit tons of coffee every morning. Maybe <laughs> should stop. And now he's gonna take his bike. He's to get his MOT. Baby. Oh. Hello. Oh, you good? Please don't, please. Look how cute you are. <laughs> please, John, please. We don't have any food. We're literally using everything what we've got. We've got in here fish fingers and halloumi and sausages just there. And that's it. And then we're going to have to go shopping. I'm going to have to go shopping. Yeah, you are. And Daniel, this morning, he's been doing a little bit of um, sort of DIY. So I don't know if this is going to really work, but he's put these drawers I inside the cupboard. It didn't fit in, so I had to dismantle the whole thing and then put it back inside the cupboard. Are you going to be able to get yeah, this yeah, stuff yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. He opens 75%. Does he? Yeah. Oh. I'll show you when he's done, John. Okay. You just chill and enjoy yourself. Well, I'm going to need to fit all the lot in this cupboard and here <laughs> and this is my third cupboard that i have full of clothes i'm taking bell tomorrow as you know at 3 30 to the vets which is going to be really good and i'm gonna to have to wait outside apparently and let bell go in while they do what they need to do and then wait until she's done and then take her out again you're gonna say good night daniel good night Daniel's MOT is doing his motorbike and also it's a bit of a mess. He's like, back, rear brake, brake pedal is all bent up, it's a mess. So we're gonna drop it in now and hopefully they can get his bike done in the next few days because when we have to go on little shopping trips at the moment, I have to take the car with him. I don't really wanna, I want him to go by himself. Did you recognize the guy at the motorbike place? Because um, I think they've changed owners, or I didn't recognise him. But we've dropped it in now anyway, so did he tell you how long it'll be? No, he said that he got my number, so he's going to call me. Oh, right. well, you're not in any huge risk for it anyway. No, I'm not. But it's like to get away from you sometimes, I ju jump on the motorbike and go somewhere. <laughs> and now I can't do that. <laughs> going to have to walk. <laughs> We have to take Jack with us. Jack's never by herself. I mean, if we leave her at home, she's always with Belle anyway. Turn well, left. If we left her, she'd probably destroy the house. I mean, I'm saying that lightly because I just don't know. Do you want me to wait outside? You said they're going to send a vet out and apparently you have to speak through the intercom, which is absolutely fine. Well, John, John is still waiting at the door for somebody to come and see him. And Jack is getting really impatient, so I'm just gonna take him for a walk. For a walk. <laughs> and maybe just have a look at what Patti can offer, something nice, sightseeing. A bit more? Go, 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 go. Well, she's very, very poorly. So the doctors, Daniel doesn't know this, so I was waiting waiting there for ages. So it looks like she was right. Um, Multicentric lymphoma. And she's also got a mass in her abdomen. She's got an additional swelling around her throat, which came up yesterday. Um, and I've got some antibiotics to try and help her, but she's very, very sick. My bike is um, done for uh, MOT and some fixing, whatever they do. And today I'm shopping with John, but 
how we work is that he stays in the car because he's a lazy bastard and I go do all the shopping and I have to find where he's parked so I can dump some of this shopping in there and then go for more shopping and he's just in the car so I can see him and he just chats on the phone to his mom or dad and just waits for me seriously Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm just watching a video. Lovely. It was really quick. No, but I haven't finished. Okay. This is round one. You want to get in the boot? No, you do it. See ya. Bye. What's in here? Fruit, oh. Lemons, broccoli, what else is there? Tomatoes. What's in this one? Tomatoes. Oh my God, how much tomatoes? Oh, you know I eat a lot of tomatoes. You do actually. Oh, wow. And every time we go to North End Road, we always get huge packs of meat. So we kind of like split these chicken into single or double breasts, put them in bags, and freeze them, and it works out so much cheaper because the, for this bag, you can see, £19.99. So happy we've got the juicer. So now we can actually do carrot juice. Did you get any beetroot? No, I couldn't find it. Um. The food's away now, and I think it looked pretty healthy. And Daniel was saying, oh, he wants to go to Aldi and get some cheese, but I don't think we necessarily need to, but after we take Belle to the vets later, we might pop, let's see what. No, we might, we are. I don't mean it, well, it's, I don't know, let's see. Today, I'm gonna make boza. Boza, it's um, a fermented grain drink. You can use any grain you want, as long as it's fermented. It contains just a little bit of alcohol and for some people it's really disgusting so I'm gonna make John drink this because I know he's not gonna like it so I'm boiling the grains this is a mix of corn and uh, wheat grain and I'm gonna I'm gonna boil it until it gets soft and I can mush it I can blend it <laughs> Well, I am. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm not doing the right way because I don't have the right uh, stuff to blend it and uh, to sift it. So I'm using um, the Ninja Bullet Blender and the juicer to get out the the juice from the grains. But so far it's working. I've added some sugar and yeast, dried yeast. And then I'm just stirring it until it dissolves completely. And then I'm gonna add it to my boza. Now I will leave the boza for 15 to 20 hours in a cool temperature. And then add the sugar and vanilla um, liquid or vanilla sugar, whatever I have. This is the end of the day, the end of the week. And I will see you next Thursday at 6.30. Good night.